I welcome all the participants. Uh, am I audible? Okay. I welcome all the participants to join third day of AICT Atal Faculty Development Program in Robotics, uh, organized by the Department of Computer Science and Engineering, uh, Katihar Engineering College, Katihar Government of Bihar. I welcome uh, Dr. Vijay Bhaskar Simwal, sir. Assistant Professor, Computer Science Department at uh, MNIT Bhopal. Sir has also taken a session on day one of introduction to bi bipedal locomotion and push recovery. And he has taken a second session on human activity recognition using deep learning and teeny machine learning. Now, sir has again, sir will take session on introduction to AI robot and mathematical foundation of robotics. So once again, I welcome you, uh, Dr. Vijay Bhaskar, sir. Okay. okay. Uh, thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. So should I start? Uh, yes, sir. You can start, sir. Okay. Okay. So good afternoon to all. Uh, now I'm going to... Uh, divide my talk into two portions. One is mathematical foundation of robotics and the other introduction to AI robots. Okay. So already now you have seen uh, enough about AI robots. Okay. So now a uh, little bit, I will introduce AI robots, how we are using AI robots, where AI capabilities is important. Then I will directly move to mathematical foundation of robots and day after tomorrow, maybe morning session that uh, that time we'll solve the inverse kinematics for two link manipulator and three link manipulator solutions. We'll, we'll try to, discuss. so introduction to AI robots. So here I'm going to cover basically some definitions, old definition and this is, you can understand that we, I'm going to summarize uh, the ro robotic portion here. So maybe traditional uh, robot applications, what is there and what is modern AI robot application, current definition and modern application of robots. We'll see that how robotics and the artificial intelligence are working together. Then we'll introduce deep learning and the machine learning, which is like connectionist AI. Earlier we have rule-based AI. Now we have connectionist AI in which we are using data-driven techniques through machine learning, through deep learning techniques. So we are evolving. Then concept of learning with the machine with uh, that particular application, reinforcement learning, how the machine can learn uh, during this one. Finally, we'll try to associate machine learning or deep learning in the robotics. We'll provide some example and application. Then robot industry, those we have a maybe separate session on this one, 4.0, robotics center. And I will discuss two applications, my research related to, like robot drawing using neural network and deep learning model. And second, human activity recognition developed by pedal locomotion using data driven. So first uh, research already I discussed, uh, day first, third session already I discussed. Second session will show that some demonstration robot drawing using neural network and deep learning model. So now let us uh, come out talk. What is earlier definition of robot? So different motors are there, different. If you see that this is now uh, quite clear, you can answer also if I will ask, what is this? This robot, it is industrial robot or mobile robot and what kind of robots? You can write in chat box, someone. I can see the chat. Which kind of robot is this one? This is, I hope that uh, up to this point, it is clear to everyone. This is industrial robots, okay? Manipulator, like Puma robots. And yesterday, uh, maybe that I'm not demonstrated with the Babos, that is industry correct. And Babos software, if time will have permit, I will give the exposure of that simulator, Babos simulator, okay? So this is industrial robot, it has fixed waste. It is not mobile robot, like wheel robot is different. Mobile robots are wheel robots. You have quadruped robot, bipedal robots. So it has certain degree of freedom on each joints, like some degree of freedom on this joints. This is ankle shoulder, knee. Okay, this is like human hand. We have cancer, this is fixed base. And in autonomous industry, they are using very well. Auto automobile industry, they are using widely. 
for placement different segments and body part of the or chassis of car when they designing or any scooter they are doing thing. so any machine made by the human that is standard definition given by the robot institute robot institute of american they have given the definition the machine which is defined by the human is robot but it is not true later on they have updated and 1979 again robot institute of america has updated definition and they've given robot is a reprogramming but already i told adaptable multifunctioning manipulator designed to move material part or tool any multifunctional manipulator designed to move some portion of tool or specialized device through the variable program motion that means at least three degree of freedom and it perform the variety of tasks okay so that is what uh, standard definition which is now um, widely accepted okay you'll find in wikipedia also the definition which is proposed in 1970 by robot institute of america the robot is the check words uh, okay and uh, the meaning of robot was the survey but it is like uh, your soldier, uh, soldier or your helping device which can help or assist you during uh, to perform day-to-day -day activities morning to evening so this is what earlier robot definition was. robot without no machine man so you, you can see the different category of robot like manipulator robots industry which have fixed bases moving with certain degree of freedoms okay then you have lagged robots we have lagged like we have seen that this is cockroach kind of structure you have then you have wheel robots which having wheels which is moving the wheel robots like cleaning robots space exploration we are going for these wheel robots that we are doing okay these are not uh, a embassy learning enabled robots we have autonomous and animal robots in which we are not using any human being like uh, when you are moving on space and uh, various other activity where we are deploying these autonomous and animal robots which can control by the far distance okay? which are capabilities they are self-sustained okay? the traditional use of robot was where uh, robotics industry was using this traditional without uh, ml without machine learning intelligence robots repeated that as boring to perform like uh, placing the wheel placing something where continuous monitoring through the camera is uh, not required they are performing certain tasks just picking and placing the object from one place to another place so it is quite uh, boring for human being and stressful for human being so let us deploy the some manipulator robots you can see the best of benefits manual task that human don't want to do like cleaning the toilets cleaning the wash basin cleaning bathroom these kind of tasks can be performed by the robot and it was supposed that the robot will perform the cleaning of uh, toilet wash basin other kind of robots these are the traditional application of robot which uh, uh, we have uh, proposed for robot the third category already i told if fire is there so fire extinguisher kind of work which can lead for human life bomb disposal uh, terrorist attack is happening that time also we can deploy human eye robots so different category of robots which you can see the image itself is self-explanatory uh, images are there which is explaining each and every bit of things quite naturally so when you have repeated those uh, jobs which is boring and stressful for human you have manual tasks that women uh, never want to do, cleaning of toilet and other. Then the jobs that, that are dangerous for human beings for their safety purpose. So these were the traditional uh, tasks which human being was expecting from robot. Now the coming on the AI robot, deep learning robot, as I told that AI application of robots. Now the robots, you have seen chatbot, natural language they are understanding in the natural language way okay so are the robot really intelligent the question is that are the robot is really intelligent answer a robot is only as smart as it initially programs okay so whatever we have programmed whether it has face recognition capabilities 
whether it has speech capability naturally it can translate your language it can understand your language it can follow the instruction okay now nlp natural language tool is there in which you have variety of tasks uh, language translation story generation such kind of things uh, you can do by the natural language processing okay now the question is coming what is ai what is artificial intelligence can robot is there the kismat was the first robot kismat which kismat because not only we require intelligence we require something which is essential we require emotion we have to understand human being used to understand the emotion of other person if someone is weeping on something that time we can take some things so what is artificial intelligence the machine any artificial machine which can copy the capability which human being has those we are copying the human brain so the copy intelligence human behaviors so we are trying to copying the behavior which human being has okay so machine can uh, do similar behavior which human being can do human intelligence can do so that is what is artificial intelligence okay so i talk about a traditional robot repeated tasks manual tasks dangerous task was doing then ai enable things are coming ai is that in which we we that machine itself mean robot so robot agent can perform the task which human being can intelligently do like solving the puzzles playing the chess game okay by manipulator we can do okay now what is now modern robot and in the future what will be the aspects that is very important to understand so even now it is not easy task to come to an agreement on just what a robot is and what is not human amongst amongst robotist uh, community robotist people are not very much quite uh, agree on certain uh, common opinion ki what is robot and what is not they are still in the argument mode there is no clarity between the boundary between this is robot and this is no and the simple and robot definition a robot is where ai meet the real world problem so okay so if you are going for outside world problem whether it's chess game play them uh, autonomous vehicle um, other things so robot is where the ai meet the real world problem so whenever ai has to meet with real world problem then robotics is always there most of the current robot are designed for the range of the behavior certain range of behaviors are there whether uh, they have emotion uh, emotional recognition face recognition they are performing the walking okay so walking is also behavior performed by the human being same robot is doing like picking the object placing object uh, gesture mimicking they are keeping gesture mimicking also however a lot a lot of robot will be humanized within 10 year from now so far we have also the plenty amount of humanoid robots which have working capability but within upcoming 10 minute 10 year we can have uh, numerous robots okay which will be humanoid robots that is what future is of robot is here you can see that robot has uh, like brain like structure neural network which are being thinking cap of capabilities the robot is thinking also so now a challenge associated with when we are uh, enabling ai in the robotics okay so when you will enable the ai in the robotics you will find the difficulties in ai program to the things how we are thinking such things i need to program and robotics program to do program we have to write for robot and only to do in ai what is happening we also program how to think okay this kind of behavior social interaction is required okay uh, low level of interaction is possible uh, learning capability is required in ai always you have to learn the behavior of human being and robot is only a small uh, only as smart as program so robot agent is only that much smart whatever we have already programmed 
the machine which we have programmed already that much smart is only the robots okay those in ai we can learn the new behavior any new sort of behavior we can acquire it is not necessary that whatever we are programming those ai we have social interaction by social media you can see that now uh, not only we are identifying which community people which age group people which is there what is there is in that but we are also interesting but but in robotics we have very low level basic level of interaction not like they are playing soccer and other in ai we have program to think but in robotics uh, we have to do programming okay that we told as a definition of robot is that robot is a reprogrammable machine and we can reprogram but at least we have to program defining ai okay so already i discussed science plan and act ai is used to describe machine that mimic cognitive function that mean uh, cognitive robotics is evolving area the human behavior human brain we have to map so ai is used to describe machine that mimic cognitive functions of human mind such as learning problem solving playing game like and planning smart uh, optimizing techniques smart path planning all sort of things are coming which human mind has to do if any agent is able to solve this one whether we are playing chess soccer that time also we require optimized behavior okay so ai used to describe machine that mimic cognitive function of human mind the traditional problem or goal of ai research include the traditional because now we have connectionist ai in which you have uh, such kind of neural network kind of structure is here okay they are thinking planning they are taking continuously input left camera right camera they are enable with camera infrared sensors they have servo motors they have also we'll discuss also the moment i will um, give the introduction to simulator so traditional ai rule based when we are just looking for reasoning reasoning could be machine to machine interaction or multiple people are working group behavior planning learning natural language processing it is not like programming language which is 100% compilation free then only it will work but it is natural language it can understand the language which we used to speak hindi english other things we can have grammatical mistake but still machine can understand we can have lot of challenges like uh, uh, <coughs> sorry <coughs> sorry uh, we can have challenge like ascent uh, some uh, word can have multiple meanings okay such kind of natural language processing because you require high power high learning for the, to understand the natural language okay perception uh which is uh, enabled by the neural system and the ability to move object that move locomotion so the traditional goal of ai was uh, focus on the reasoning planning learning natural language processing perception and ability to move the objects okay now let us see the what is different between machine learning deep learning based and ai artificial intelligence so generally what is robot it is simply a computer system you can see that computer is placed here and you are basic performing you are controlling joint values that is actuator you are giving the trajectory which robot is following and you, uh, if i have some diagram i can demonstrate you i have one software webos in which you can see that how it is working it will take bit time i will also demonstrate uh, this also to you how working is happening those um, i think that there is no separate session was planned for simulator simulation in which we'll get opportunity we'll introduce this one so in this case we are adding some motion to robot you can remove also motion so what you can do you have certain uh, model of human beings you can see the different plan sister plan frontal plan top view 
side view, different views, you can see that. Okay. You can put the motion also so that machine can move the motion file you can capture. The motion file you can load from here. The model will able to work. Okay. You can see from different direction frontal. You can see the TJT also. If you see how working TJT is happening, so you can go for here. Hip joints, I'm going to see. With respect to time, if I'm going to do, see, you can see that this kind of hip joint TJT for one gate cycle, we are going to see. You can see another joints also. Knee joint, sound knee joint TJT is coming. Hip rotation, knee angle, you can compare both with respect to time. Okay. You have to add, you are getting blue is showing for knee angle, red is showing for hip joints. So big hump and small hump as I already I uh, day one introductory session, I have introduced this one. This you can see. So if time will permit, we'll explore this also. I was supposed to show you some robot, which is Kuka robot or Puma robot, Kuka robot. How it is performing your boat is here. The controller you can write in different various length. This is, I can see the voice also, maybe the voice hearing capabilities not here. You can see other voice. Leave it out. So what is happening in this case, you can see. The robot is performing the task. Picking object, placing. This is KUKA robot. You can see from all view. It is moving, so it has moved fast. You can replay this also. You can provide the physical parameter, force, gravity, center of mass, basis geometry. You have constructed the bottom wheels. You can use infrared sensor. Wheel robots, they are just moving through so very basic kind of things. So that is what I was discussing. Here. So computer with the ability to learn as like human, that is what AI definition is here. As human being used to reason, reasoning is required. We generally simply not accept someone as a, those we trust human being, but still uh, there is lot of uh, lack of, like, yeah. a lack of trust. People are not believing someone experience. So, what they used to do, they used to reason the things, whether it is correct or not. Okay. Those it is value. So in AI intelligence, what is happening? We try to mimic the someone like baby used to capture the behavior of elder. If we are shouting, they will also shout. If we are quarreling, they will also quarrel. It's like this. And if we are reasoning, like uh, suppose I'm playing the chess game, that I need to see what will be the my next move. Maybe human player in front of me or computer player. Okay. Then machine learning is completely data driven techniques. You require data. If data is available, you can perfect me. So computer with the ability to learn without being explicitly programmed. Here I'm not programming any behavior separately. It is learning through the data. Okay. So whatever input, suppose I need to find that whether a person is healthier and healthy. So I have data. 
So I measure the temperature in BP. If temperature in BP is less than 100, then it is healthy. If it is more than 100, then it is unhealthy. So from this data I have learned, but in case of AI, I need to write the controller. Okay, temperature BP is the, with this value extra more. So we have sensor by which we are taking inputs. Okay. And for this machine learning, we require to explicitly provide the features like I told the temperature and PP. It is not that by just data is given and from raw data, I can learn itself. No, this is not at all in machine. Deep learning and AN. Artificial neural network is the starting basic of the deep learning. So ANN with the more than three layers is considered as the hidden layers is considered the deep learning network. So when we have to structure why learn the pattern, okay, layer by layer you are learning. Because human being, if I need to identify the someone face, so it is not that the moment you will appear in front of me, I will understand your face. I need to, I know whether you have eyes, nose, all sort of thing, what texture, what color and all sort of thing. Right? So network capable of adapting itself to the new data. It is updating the weights. There is positive learning. There is negative learning. Weight updation is happening. Bias learning is happening. And there is this thing. So this is what we are, we are talking about. Uh, deep learning evolving from machine learning, especially in neural network. As I told that my one application is here. Maybe that um, PPT I will show you what application I'm going to present. In this case, we'll draw a uh, manage Gopal through the human hand. Okay. So, but first, uh, before this, I will introduce the mathematical foundation inverse kinematic problem. Then we'll understand neural network solution, how it is working. Those they are not very much um, accurate compared to the traditional model. model. AI we have discussed. ML, maybe uh, most of you are aware of the machine learning. So it's a type, it's a branch of AI that gives the machine the ability to learn through data. data. So that's why they are considered as a data driven techniques. Without data, we cannot do anything. Okay. So as human being used to learn any behavior which we have acquired, it is not that simply we have learned whether it is working or something. Initially, we require training. We used to learn the behavior and that also behavior many times we used to fail. Then again, we used to repeat behavior. Okay. So that is what it is ability to learn the things from the training data without explicitly program. We are not doing program. Okay. So you are not explicitly program. You are learning continuously through the data. Once learning is done, the model is prepared. That model can utilize for the purpose of prediction or other. In a sense, this type of program can teach themselves and grow when they are given new data. To it. So as experience will grow, we will become the experts. The things that we have the such variety of data, we have exposure of different variety of data. Similarly, the things is coming here. Uh, we can teach themselves and grow the our capabilities. Now, the question is coming, how learning system working in human and how human being is learned. So one thing that brain is mimicking something behavior. The basic attribute of people is that they have categorization of sensory. Like we have vision sensor, which is related to vision. We have audio sensor, which is related to audio. We have touch sensor. This is specially designed for the touching something haptic and other things. For this, always we try to remember the pattern. You know, you know that one eyes can see the n dimension data. So we have uh, these capabilities that uh, we used to see the pattern, try to learn that pattern, whether data is there. In data, I told that if data value is less than 10, then it is not success. If your CGP is more than 10, then you are passed. You can get CRE score and you can visit Stanford and MIT. So there is pattern, there is fixed uh, demarcation, there is boundary by which you can 
separately classify their data, like if you plot. If value is more than this one, then you are forced to category me. So such demarcation is considered as pattern also. Okay. And you are going for clustering when you are forming the groups for so similar identity data is coming together. We have pattern, then pattern recognition system is required. Okay. The learning. And then we are using whether we are belonging to positive class or negative class. We have X1 and X2. This is your input. Based on this, you have to decide whether you are in positive or negative category. Okay. So, like you are a healthy person and healthy, uh, you are American or British, uh, you are Asian or Afghani people. Like such that we have to see their facial expression, behavior. Also. So, example of pattern recognition tasks that medium facial expression like smiley, anger, normal, recognizing speech. Reading the document and requiring the reading skills like A, B, C, D, A. Identifying a person by the fingerprints or by gait or by walking pattern. Tougher than the reading. Okay. Diagnosing from medical images, seeing that whether you are affected with COVID or not. Wine testing. So these are the examples where pattern recognition application has evolved and widely used. So how machine learning was possible? As I told that you require data for 10. Once training is done, that is the point the testing. So training is that you have input pattern. You are extracting the features. And from features, I'm building the classifier. And then it is classified or predicting. So feature extraction is some measurement on the input pattern. So what it used to do, it used to extract only relevant feature like your healthy and healthy. I'm capturing, capturing your BPN term height, uh, BPN the uh, temperature. I'm not capturing the height because height is not relevant with this data. So feature extractor is very important. Okay. So let me call that X is the feature vector. Afterwards, we have captured the features. That is feature. This is D dimension feature. So D dimension is like. You have D three dimension plan, or similarly, you can have D dimension plan. Then you have to map classification vector to class level and feature to be used the problem space. Then you can. So in machine learning, the important thing is this feature extractor is working. But in deep learning, what is happening? The layer itself is working. Feature extractor. Each hidden layer is considered as a feature extractor. It is extracting more better. Suppose there is fees, two category of fees. Salomon and some other category of fish, you have to identify by seeing the structure. So, first you will pre process the image, remove the noise, take the relevant features, and after that, we'll classify whether it is salmon or sea bass, which category of sea bass. This is what how ML based agent is working. The basic application of machine learning is optical character recognition OCR to identify the objects. Handwriting, sorting letter by the postal code input, device of the personal digital assistant, printed text reading machine for blind person. Nowadays, in flight, it is available uh, for blind person also. They can read the instruction and other things. Okay. Digitalization of thesis and documents, other. The all the thesis which is written before 1980, there was no computer. So it is written by hand that can be digitalized. In biometric, you have face recognition, identification, verification, face retrieval, document retrieval, fingerprint recognition, gate recognition. Diagnostic system, which you have medical diagnosis, X-ray, ECG, EEG, EMG. Military application, autonomous target recognition. The drone has to fit and they have to recognize what are the target where I have to bombard. If you are, uh, have to bomb somewhere, uh, you have to go deploy the bomb. So in this case, what will happen? You have to automatically target the uh, direction and then you do. In this case, we require some image segmentation and analysis to recognize from the aerial and satellite photography, which are available with me, particular location. Suppose I need to go in the POK to fight there, to destroy the 
the, the terrorist camps which is running in the POV. So for this, I need to segment image which particular area. Then we can go for geographical positioning, spatial coordinate X, Y, Z, and by that we can find the unique position and we can bombard there. More application of AI in MLR, understanding human speech, language transition. So these capabilities, uh, people are looking for human robot interaction. Okay? Language transition when you are converting from one language to another. Staging game playing like chess, Ludo, other driverless autonomous car. The car has various sensors. They having sensors like infrared sensors, depth sensors, camera vision sensors. Okay. Natural language enable things. Neuro marketing through the brand computer interface. For especially they are understanding the community aspects of human brand by using certain easy machines. Route map of through the Google map for the path planning of autonomous robots or uh, autonomous vehicles. You have to identify where is pedestrian where is road only you have to walk through the road not through up and the path which is prepared for the pedestrian you have to identify any obstacle is coming any trees coming if person is there many times what is happening there is um, shadow of person shadow of person can be treated as person as a child in san ki child that can be treated as the uh, person and the machine, uh, the autonomous vehicle will stop. Those it is not actually human, it is just shadow. Such kind of things uh, we have to identify shadow of tree. Inspecting fruits and the vegetable quality, whether uh, vegetables are ripe, they are raw, they are in condition which can be transferred from this location to this location, it can survive for food. Chatbot and many more. AI based robot is the we are expecting such intelligence behavior over the robot. They should understand human speech. They communicate human being. They will translate the language. They should have capability for strategic planning. Uh, they can have natural language capabilities. BCI, uh, they can understand. Okay. The current and future application, ML application in the robotics, AI application, there should be computer vision enabled or machine vision is there. So they can perform the daily uh, operation, daily surgery. Okay, remotely we can also custom nowadays they are doing for, you have seen that for teeth cleaning, they are using manipulator kind of tools already. These are deployed very nicely. Okay. So uh, with the help of computer vision, camera, machine vision, virtual reality, augmented reality, we can enable this one. Imitation learning where we are imitating the behavior of someone and then perform self-supervised learning. Okay, agriculture robots, various robots which can work over agriculture. So we require mobile robot because the terrain is not very, very smooth and obstacle it is a surgical operation, assistive and more medical technologies. Automatically blood testing is happening X-rays is done, all sort of things can be done by the robot. So, so one by one, I'm coming on the application like uh, computer vision and machine vision based technique. Application like identifying and sorting the objects. Okay, so there is three garbage collector. This is wet garbage, this is dry garbage, this is somewhat which is re recyclable. So three different paper, plastic and the metal three categories of the dustbin is the, the uh, garbage was on the table. The manipulator robot has to pick the object and place on the proper thing. So they have computer. By computers, uh, they are processing the object, they are identifying the objects. And once they have recognized the object, according to their category, they are placing. Here we have to classify in three applications only, paper, plastic, and metal. Okay, so if it is paper, they are putting it in the dustbin, which is designated for paper. And that it is designated for plastic and another one minute. Yes, ha, hello, Meghna. Yeah, yeah. Ha, ha, good afternoon. Ha. 
I will be available at 2 p.m. Actually, I'm taking class. So at 2 p.m. I will be available in my cabin. Okay, no problem. You ask and you give my number and immediately at 2, I will be in my cabin. Similarly, you can ask uh, to ask the also. Right? Ask the sister is also here maybe. Already I communicated her, no problem. You can ask him, you see uh, my number to them, they can call me immediately at 2, I will talk to them, okay? Ah, sorry, sorry for interrupt, there was one emergency call. Okay, so let us continue, move forward. Any doubt, you can keep posting here, okay? So machine vision and computer vision already I uh, given the application that you have to automatically garbage collect. Okay. Then vision guided robots. Okay, another application vision guided. So you have seen that how chassis of a particular car is prepared, how they are fitting the tire and all. They are also in a day they are manufacturing more than uh, hundred or two hundred cars from particular plants. The things that all are coordinated sequentially they are doing okay so so different manipulator robots are working together some are placing the chassis one chassis there they are applying the tires and also so moving into next industry revolution that is 4.0 considered industry revolution and we are lacking in the industry revolution the india lacked in the industrial revolution that's why we are looking in robotism those in computer we are well ahead programming all big companies are leading, but industry revolution we are a little bit lacking. Okay. So machine vision is facing a new area. Okay. With the introduction of simple and more cost effective robotic platform, the abilities they are re replacing the human being. And they are as precise as human being. Okay. And many times human being cannot hold the object. We require the dependency of other human being, but robot can do this. So autom automated production with reach a level not seen before. Okay. That's why we are able to provide you. Earlier, we they used to deliver car within one year. Then it is reached to six months. Now they are delivering car within 10 days or 15 days or five days also. They are delivering the car. The things that the production capacity is increasing of the plant. Okay. Hyundai, Toyota. Suzuki, all they are using various robots, maybe hopefully Tata and Mahindra also they are using. I'm not sure about that, but Hyundai Motors are using uh, robots. Caribo robots is used by the Toyota Motor. Okay. Imitation learning, that's very important. Like dancing is dance. For dance, you have to copy the steps. If person is dancing, you have to also dance. So I can show the video. One Honda robot is here. Maybe I will able to get that robot. This is like an industrial robot, Puma robots, you can see. I'm able to show you some Getting fired. This is Kirebe robot. It is performing dance. Dance is to see that it is bending the knee and this and this. 
So that can be considered as an imitation where they are copying the human gestures. If you are playing tennis, so you have one hand is moving forwards, your one leg is in the e swing phase or in the ear. Similarly, this now robot is doing. So you have to do with the stabilities. It is not that human being have stable structure. We can negotiate with the external torque to we can make the balance of the body, but robot cannot. Robot should sustain. Okay. So utilizing a will balance board to imitate the center of pressure of human. Okay. So it is like observing learning a behavior exhibited by infant and toddlers as baby used to learn behavior of elderly. Similarly, uh, infant kind of behavior is learned by the robots. So that is what we call imitation based learning. Then last, not not least, that is very important, autonomous vehicles. It is much needed and people are well aware of this one, self-supervised learning. Self-supervised learning approach in our robot to generate its own training example in order to improve the performance. Okay, so in this case, if autonomous vehicle is moving, they have enabled with the camera sensors. So they are identifying some objects, car is coming behind, what size of car, how much they have to move left and right, tilt left and right and this. Okay. So this kind of decision, they are learning through environment, they are identifying objects and they are stopping their self, okay, here. Yeah. So you have to improve your performance by their own time, okay. Then another category is autonomous vehicles are robot with the self surveillance category. Users as robot are enabled with infrared sensors. So they are seeing that sensor, any object is coming as nowadays you see that in the car also they have a camera sensor place in the backside. If any obstacle when you are reverse, uh, during reverse operation, when you are taking back your car, that time any object is coming, it is beeping, it is honking so that you can see. If any uh, person or dog or car is coming, it is identifying, it is stopping. Okay. So all autonomous vehicles are self-supervised or especially to identify the obstacles. Then assistive and medical technology. And nowadays elderly people are staying alone at the house to serve them, to provide them medicine and also there is assistive robot to serve them food, beverage, other things. So they are quite difficult to walk in the elderly states. The society becomes so, so such a, society is moving in the direction where humanity is dying day by day. Okay, the structure is there. So in this case, then robot is there, the technology is there always. Technology is so much humble. As you will grow, you have to become more humble and humble. Okay, so technology is becoming humble. It is always ready to serve the people. As technology growing, it is helping. So they do not discriminate between person that I need to help or not. So assistive row is a device that can sense, process sensory information and perform action that benefit people with the disabilities and the senior citizen, elderly person, who are alone at home, not able to perform their tasks. Okay. So like you see that some example here, INF robots is there, which is almost as a companion for this person. Then there is, uh, that is old age house, Birda Ashram, where elderly, Women are kept, elderly men are kept. So no one is there to play like baby and the, uh, their son or grandson. So grandparents, how they will enjoy as life is becoming very alone. So in this case, they are utilizing robots because some face of society is very humanitarian. And the technology should develop for humanitarian ground. It should not develop only for meaning purpose. It should develop humanitarian ground. It should serve the society, serve always betterment of society. Okay. So the robot is playing with the old age people. 
in the old age house okay other things that uh, the robot is cleaning uh, they have uh, wiper okay they are doing autonomously they are seeing finding object they are done so entire room they are cleaning in the hotel in other places so this is what moving then agriculture robot uh, i'm coming in agriculture robot already i discussed that we require the wheel robot because the agriculture land are so rugged you have to traverse over various obstacles finding difficulties to move over these obstacles this is not like as a smooth surface we have okay so we require to coordination of the first two wheel last two wheels or either left and right wheels and this wheel here. so deploy for agriculture purpose for generally harvesting cultivation and picking and picking the fruits from the tree cutting the harvesting already i told that okay so they should are vision enable also so that they can identify what crop you have to keep what crop you have to destroy uh, now there is there is dawn so dawn is for the bidding purpose weed control because uh, harmful in insects are happening you see that the chai bagan tea bagans tea gardens are there what is happening in this case chai bagan uh, because this is not in some acre it is in the huge area where it is deployed and it is an inclined plane and possibility of snacks are there as humidity will increase more snacks are coming so it can lead for money so what is happening for bidding purpose because the harmful in insects are taking uh, birth some uh, worms earthworms are there as well as uh, so sometime what is happening td and other kind of things are flying and coming reaching on places so these things are damaging our crops we can use drawn with the computer guided with the well plan for weed control if you have big land okay and you have to um see is seeding process we have to apply so for this we can do cloud seeding by placing over the mobile and it will seed all across the region and automatically the crops will get plantation many times we have to remove the unnecessary grasses other things uh, in institute you see that we always have person who is used to maintain all the size of tree plantation harvesting we have to see the environment matrix like soil we are seeing soil is there what is the perception uh, uh, their level of oxygen nitrogen oxygen whether it is fertilized land or not all sort of things we have to do whether any harmful things are coming that kind of monitoring also we can do soil analysis we can take the sample of soil we can send in the laboratory or do by the pre-processing okay as we are sending the space exploration robot so at the mass surface whether it is uh, fruitful for agriculture or not we can we can we have scientists related to agriculture which are assisting us. so various utilities there so now you see that industry revelation we are quite behind the industry revelation from one to four the first revelation of industry 1.0 is the mechanization steam engine uh, weaving looms okay in 1784 around steam engines train locomotive vehicles was here okay the industry 2.2 revolution happened when mass production assembly line electrical energy was generated around 1870 then we are moving now to our uh, micro to micro level we are moving okay micro MME level we are moving 1969 we have autonomous computer and electronics so the moment computer arrived autonomous things happen most of the things was performed by the computer now you can see that without computer it is difficult to perform a particular task okay and then now in industry 4 we have cyber physical system so embedded device we have embedded control by which washing machine and other we cannot upgrade the behavior 
in cyber physical system you can access the data of your washing machine or electricity bit suppose your electricity consumption of which are it is maximum electricity is consuming which are very least you are using this data available we are analyzing so cyber physical system ai machine learning iot smart factory autonomous system these are industry four standard and that is robot for that's why i mentioned this is we are moving it so how robot in uh, industry 4.2 to adapt itself into 4.2 to sustain in 4.2 how robot will integrate it that is mentioned here so industry 4.2 deals with the robot autonomous artificial intelligence and many more so we require technology in the industry for robots augmented reality virtual reality nowadays as you see that covid times so physical classes are not happening the laboratory experiment you cannot conduct in the laboratory many times some uh, in chemical we have such chemicals which can be uh, which are very dangerous for human being it can burn the things so to see the such uh, real kind experiment what is the impact when you are putting the oxygen with the nitrogen and what should be the reaction what color flame will burn if you are putting fire over there what is there so such kind of experiment also with the help of virtual reality uh, you have to visit the DRDO or ISRO station, substation. So these kind of things we can develop. Even uh, we are working on one project where we are trying to design the substation of the ISRO through the virtual reality. Okay. So Industry 4 deals with the robotics, autonomous, AI, and many more. Adaptive manufacturing, 3D printing, smart 3D printing, you can design the 3d specs 3d hands simulation uh, data analytics big data huge chunk of data is there you have cloud computing hog computing as computing device internet of things is also there so we have to go horizontally and vertically for system integration so the main of, uh, aim of robot and industry four is to improve the productivity, produce high quality product at the low cost, try to design minimum and minimum labor, minute labor, micro labor, and meet customer expectation. So more application of modern robot in the industry four. In manufacturing, you can see that nowadays they are imitated some based learning for uh, child taken care, there is robots. Uh, for pedagogy purpose, they are taughting, teaching the child how to write A, B, C, D, and or I, like packing military and public safety, we can do in the supermarket and more, especially for to guide them, we have to search what is the price or sort of things. In mining, 3D printing and the furnitures, these are the application industries. Now I'm coming one or two application in which we are working. Okay, so medical assistance system, the study have to disable people is their life by thought-based access of light. So as we have uh, brain control human hand by which we can pick the object, place the objects, okay? So for this, we require ECG recorder by which we'll record the data recognition. We'll apply pre-processing like, uh, some filtering techniques, uh, ERP extraction, some feature extraction. After that, we can build some deep learning or machine learning model, CNN, and then we can find the classification, how accurate this model is there, once model is there, we are going to see like CFIR data set and other views. So the study of disabled people is their life by the thought-based access of light. It is not that simply by seeing the lights, by seeing on computer, you just point which portion we are targeting. So by gazing your eyes strength, it will open that one. It will hit like the uh, mouse, fan, mobile device to television and electronic system, okay? So the uh, simplified model, you can see that you have ECG recorder by which you can record the ECG. You have amplifier by fiber where you are using adapter and finally you are using Arduino boards. You can control TV, mobile phone. You can open the door. You can see outside fan, light and all. Okay. 
So these are the some publications which we can refer to for this. So first uh, phase of this AI robot, I am going to close here. Okay, I will give brief about some simulation for 20, 30 minutes, and then I will close my talks. So if any question related to this one, you can ask. If anyone having any question, they can ask. They can raise the hand. Also. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. One participant uh, raised his hand. So I'm yes. meeting him. Yeah. Ask some questions. So I've unmuted uh, Sajad sir, so you can ask. Hello, good afternoon, sir. Yeah, yeah, please. Uh, yeah, sir, your session is very uh, good, sir. You mm. explain different applications in industry, healthcare, agriculture, mm. and robust. Mm. I have one question, sir. Mm. As a faculty member, how we mm. can motivate our student in this field, sir? Okay. 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 Correct. So we are basically from which background? Uh, mechanical, computer science, and robotics. Which background? Uh, uh, our background is electronics and communication. Okay. Perfect. Perfect. So this is for just query purpose. I ask. So as you seen that robot, it is multidisciplinary branch. Okay. So it involve computer scientists to write the program or controller. It requires electrical engineer, it requires electronics engineer, it requires mechanical structure to design CAD, CAM, and 3 things structure. Okay. So as multidisciplinary, it is not that entire product you are doing. So as a starting points to motivate students, you can use simulator, which I was showing, like these are the simulator also. So simulator in simulator, you can give basic programming skill like Python skill and not much programming skill is required. Very basic beginners level programming skill is required. And most of the code are available on the GitHub. Okay. You can download this code and you can demonstrate them through the example. Like I was showing that this is Puma robot, this is Kuka robots, their controller is there. How you can build. So, for this, um, uh, the best object is that uh, we can organize some um, small exhibition kind of things or either workshop. And if uh, it is good, if you can introduce some basic level or beginners level of course to students so that they can work, but you have to identify which area you want to work. Okay, there is many areas, like I'm working in the human walking analysis, locomotion. So most of my MTech and PhD students are by default working in this type. So they are working in human activity recognition, they are working in human hand movement optimization techniques. So we have various fields like you can go for optimization, you can go for um, Digitization, you can go for data collection, you can go for designing of the mod. So, just designing in the IIT Kanku, they have very well established lab, even though you can access for design particular uh, robots, you can approach them. But before this, you have to design the simulated model. Directly, we cannot build the model robot. So, for simulation, you can use CAM, CAD, mechanical structure. Apart from their various simulator like OpenSim and Bevos, these two I am going to introduce just for. Uh, your reference purpose I'm going to introduce. So I think that uh, this way you can motivate the students. Uh, those the best way of learning that learning by the example or learning by the self. Okay. Hmm. I hope that uh, I have addressed the question. Mary Catherine, do we have any question? Maybe she has raised the hand. Any more questions related to AI robot and deep different area? Dibya Das. I will just, uh, just wait. Uh, Dibya sir, I have unmuted you, so you can ask. Sir. Yeah. We can sir, hear not, you. Yeah, okay, sir. Yeah. Sir, uh, uh, you have shown, uh, thank you, sir, for your wonderful session. Uh, yes. So I have a doubt, like uh, you have shown some examples of robots uh, which are working uh, with a sensory vision capability. Uh, uh -huh. So I just wanted to know what is the scope of uh, incorporating the sensory touch in robotics, like in uh, a research perspective? Okay, okay. Okay, so sensory touch in the sense uh, it is working in various domains. Like you can see, uh, 
final year. Uh, correct. Thank you. Uh, you have a haptic kind of robots. Okay. When we are designing like a touch, uh, suppose physically or elderly subjects, which is totally sick and sleeping on the bed, you have to give particular object to pick and place. Okay. So that time they do not understand because their cognitive disability, they do not understand how much pressure they have to apply on particular. Suppose you are giving bread or very soft materials. Okay. That time uh, you can design such a uh, artificial gloves, which he can wear, how much pressure we have to apply, analyze this kind of things you can do for uh, eating purpose or some other purpose. Okay. Apart from there, you can design the soul, the person which has uh, some deformity or difficulties in the walking. They have uh, some crouch kind of walking. So their shoes is designed differently. Okay. How much pressure they have to they can sustain. You can design the soul like uh, which can have uh, soft soul by which you can observe certain pressure which is coming from ground. So touch sensor is uh, numerous application. In case of if you have to uh, install the computer, okay, you just just touch the computer, okay, instead of starting and visual, you touch the sensor by touch you can start more uh, robot. Also, uh, you can also guide the robot also by the showing your instruction okay you touch and touch sensor is especially when people are visually impaired okay so brand lippy and other things they are just touching the things that time touch sensor is various uh, coming for various utility purpose because they find very difficulties if they are working there is white can with the white can they used to find the object in front of them but if can they can do by the touch also it is good by the touching if i can get with what is the object in front of me how much magnitude so i can understand the things because it's, it's still a visually impaired person has quite difficult to walk, uh, work in the kitchen and very dangerous environment where fire in these things so i hope that uh, various utilities there i'm giving some broad aspects so the haptic is uh, you can explore uh, I just recently, I have one uh, hand is like the person lost one hand. He has only one hand. I'm controlling by another hand through EMG sensors for one person. Okay. So this is involving the touch sensor also. And like human baby, they used to find very difficult in learning particular behavior. A, B, C, D, when you are teaching pedagogy is very difficult. The parents can understand this pen. For this purpose, also there is some uh, haptic based robots are coming with there by touching, they are just telling uh, what is uh, written there. And by narrating them, uh, the student can learn very fast. Okay. Any more questions? I hope I answered your query. I think, did you have Yeah, yeah, please. Yeah. Am I audible, sir? Yeah, we can hear. Yeah. Okay. Okay, sir. So I'm Viviranjan Dasadikari from Siksa uh, mm -hmm. Actually, sir, uh, I did my PhD uh, in uh, wireless sensor network. And yes. uh, currently, I'm doing research on IoT. Okay. So uh, my question is, is there any any way we can uh, what, uh, collaborate uh, what, uh, IoT with robotics? Yes. Okay, good question. So IoT is future, Nayana. So in case, uh, as I have given, you see that the diagram image, which is placing. Okay. So you have a small IoT device like Arduino board. Arduino, you know, 33 BLE sense. What yes, they are, yes, they, are, yes, they are sense, sensor capable. Okay. Yes, so yes. Sense, sensor is sensing, whether it is for motion sensor, whether it is for vision sensors. Okay. In IoT, you are de designing the very small dust wheel other things for carrying objects. That time also you can integrate both the things, okay? So I think that IoT is part of robotics. Nowadays, in robotics, they are teaching IoT also because without IoT, we cannot think that small devices, small system which we have designed that can be integrated with the robots, okay? Apart from them, in research perspective, what we can do in the IoT, like I told that this application, uh, wide can. Okay, so white can is like as a stick which you which has uh, infrared sensors is coming. If any obstacle is coming, they used to sound and the person which is blind, they used to stop. Okay, 
so similarly robot has no vision as such if a robot is without vision so by infrared sensor they are uh, identifying the objects infrared sensor is the part of um, your iot how to process the data how to design the controller and then robot can also negotiate the obstacle and other things okay and in mobile robot it is quite utilities you can place the smart dustbin over the mobile robots or um, you have to search particular object inside the room okay inside the room the object is there the mobile robot is moving here then a small hand on uh, Arduino uh, boards which is enabled with computer system can be put it over the uh, your mobile robots it can search the objects it can find the objects a firefighter is moving over um, different terrains okay if multi-story building and the fire is outbroken what will happen in this case uh, GPS will not work inside where they have to, uh, which low floor they people are working. So we can have the shoes in which we can place the accelerometer or either gyroscope and we can continuously monitor their activity where they are working. And after that, we can start directly reach their that particular floor and we can save the people. So various application IoT is well enough. You can in agriculture in domain you can apply whether whether you can apply weather prediction because everywhere the need of robot is coming you have seen the industrial 4.0 standard okay yeah any more questions i think you have answered uh, yeah. Yeah. anyone uh, any other person Uh, Mary Catherine, she has uh, okay. okay. What are terms? Human is uh, any query if you have, uh, we can answer. You can ask also later on, also. And uh, one more utility, which I will explain here. This, you see that if diagram is here, right hand side, this diagram, so, okay. So recently I'm uh, purchasing this one. This is force plate sensor, okay. This image I will show you in separately. What is happening? What is the utility of this sensor in here? One minute. Hmm? So you can see that this uh, image is there. I'm trying to set up such lab in which you have face plate, uh, force plate. This is force plate here. So force plate is especially helping to monitor the force applied on the ground. Okay. So there is camera sensor also to track the human walking. So person is walking over this uh, wooden bra, wooden plate one, the force plate is here and we can capture the human gate data also. Okay, there is controlling cameras subject is working then there is reflexive marker also because camera can identify which position robot is there a person is working so we can test the human walking also and little bit this force plate is costly it is around nine lakh ten lakh rupees so here we can see that uh, when you are working what um, uh, amount of force you are applying that thing we can discuss so that was uh, um, open area you can also work in this direction okay so any more question, if I have any more question, otherwise I have finished with my presentation. Okay, I will. So if any question, I will answer, I will get you. So Tarambi sir, I think that there is no more question. Uh, yes, sir, I think. Uh... Uh, sir. Yes. Sir.
So I have uh, done with my presentation. So okay, sir. Then uh, we can uh, close the session, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Thank you, sir, uh, for giving such a nice uh, presentation. Different types of robots, like uh, different robots, how we can play a role in uh, industry, healthcare, agriculture. So definitely, we can encourage our agent to do research in uh, agriculture, IoT, and uh, we can have some. Uh, we can design some robots like uh, how is this thing this is used in industry field. So I think uh, that's all from uh, today class. So okay. Thank you, sir. Okay. Thank you all participants. Thank you, sir. Thank you. I have shared uh, section two attendance Google form so you can fill the form. Next session will start from three to five. So we have lunch time. The session uh, will start from three to five uh, by Dr. Vijay Kumar Dala on robot robot kinematic through software exposure. So I've shared the Google form for attendance. Please fill this Google form. <laughs> 